What's up, guys? I'm over here this side. <laughs> it is currently 4 a.m. And I'm making a video over the new Daybreak updates that have happened because a lot of stuff that has rolled out uh, came with some bit of controversy, which I will now explain to you. So we're going to go by it one by one. I'm going to give you my definitive explanations last answer on how i feel about such situations some will be more painful some will have rants some will not but we're, we're just gonna keep on going so first things first is the updates when it comes to the map fixes the map fixes are perfectly fine it's just normal shit now this is where we get the, the first big horrible change which is this map tweak they moved this gen from down there all the way up here this made no sense the reasoning behind this is they moved this unsafe dock gen mind you this was not unsafe there is a route next to it that leads to a vault and the way that the killer can come up like come up to the gen that, it, that, that it's a safe vault it is not unsafe whatsoever like at all let's continue they moved this unsafe, quote unquote, unsafe dock gen in Gaikara up to higher ground so it's more closer to vaults and gives you more places to go. Mind you, this vault was next to two vaults. This gen generator was next to two vaults. So basically what they did with this update to this map is move the gen up there and completely disregard that entire section of the map. That entire back section of the map is completely unusable because if the survivor goes down there, the killer will just leave. Like, say, for example, uh, the survivor is on the gen and they run backwards, right? They run back down there. The killer does not have to follow them whatsoever. All they got to do is hit gen and then go do something else because it's going to take for a while for the survivor to get, get back up. There's literally no reason to go down there at all. So making this change, I hope they revert it. But uh, that is an unnecessary change. Bad in my books. Next things up are other map changes when it comes to the gen speed. The Gaikara gen speed is less now. It is way more faster. So, uh... Whoa, wait, actually, is it slower or faster? No, it is slower. Gaikara gen speed is slower, I think. So, uh... Eh. Uh, Lakeview high gen speed is even slower, which is okay, honestly, but it doesn't change the fact that the map is still kind of busted and it does need a bit tweaking when it comes to the vaults and the placements and everything like that because it still has very strong vaults, very strong infinites. So hopefully Lakeview high gets a ticket, you know, people take a look at Lakeview high, but it's, it does need some changes. And as for wastewater treatment gen speed, this one I kind of don't agree with. They increased the wastewater gen speed treatment. Like, they increased wastewater treatment gen speed. Now, the issue I have with this is, first of all, wa wastewater has the most amount of generators. By that, I mean literally uh, when there is a f full eight player game, when there's one gen left, there are still four generators you can do. It's insane. The wastewater has the most amount of gens out of, out of any other map. And then they increase the gen speed. I don't know how about it. I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, I feel like it should be a bit. It should stay the same, honestly, since there's just a vast amount of gens. Maybe it's because due to the fact that uh it is one of the weaker maps when it comes to survivors but even then there's a lot of amounts of gens so yeah and now the biggie here we go to the character changes now this is where people get into arguments i believe the map changes are kind of iffy and bad but i believe the character changes are good so let's go with the first one Character changes first is boss got a bit of tweaking, a bit of buffs, a bit of nerfs. So the bonus swap speed is reduced. And the bonus knuckle speed is also reduced. So basically what they did is nerf knuckles and buff crowbar. Now, 
uh, going into a game with a boss or looking at footage over the boss with a new speed and everything like that, does it doesn't feel any different much. It's a small tweak when it comes to the fists, but luckily enough, they gave uh, Crowbar a new property, which allows Crowbar to be a little bit more viable and have some utility. So that is actually pretty good. Um, and also it would be, it would, it gives each weapon a place to be used. Like fists are going to be good for, you know, snowballing when there's multiple survivors around and crowbar would be better if there is a single survivor because therefore you could use a crowbar and inflict buff, I mean debuffs to the survivor that is by themselves, which includes an 80% bleed out, which they just added. So pretty good. Not bad buffs. I mean, not bad tweaks. It's, it's pretty good. Now, here's the biggie. The biggie. The Void Skulk buffs. Now, people have been asking and asking and asking for Void Skulk buffs. And the buffs is as follows. The Void Skulk now has a lunge speed of 1.275, which is a 0.25 bonus. I'm gonna get to it. The attack recovery is reduced to two. Two seconds. And the inf bonus infected volt speed is now from 10% to 25. Now, people saw this and immediately said, Oh my god, why did you do this? Void Skulk did not. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Void Skulk. Is still very difficult to play at the time of recording this I have went through about 10 void scope games survivor and killer and I I'm here to tell you definitively that void scope is nowhere near OP nowhere near OP there is going to be a video that comes out either before or after this video comes out, but Void Skulk is nowhere near being overpowered as people complained about. What people complained about is the numbers. They believed that a 25% volt speed increase due to an infection is detrimental. It is not. When you're playing against a Void Skulk, it is very easy to be it's very easy to not get infected it is very easy to avoid infection the reason you get infected is by if you have no choice but to vault an infected vault or if you tap an infected gen and even then the, the time that you are infected all all the factors that play in void scope is not nowhere near as oppressive or overpowered nowhere near it is not even close to being on par as the other killers. Not even close. Now, these buffs were necessary. Yes, it gives her a bit more of a chance in chase. It doesn't make her OP. It doesn't make her so oppressive in chase. People are going to play Void and they are going to see that Void is nowhere near as it, like these buffs are needed these buffs were not unnecessary this is why zinni and other high level players were asking for these buffs it's because they were needed if void scope was good nobody would ask for buffs nobody the people who were asking for void scope not to be buffed is for people that are so insistent on her power as a gen locker queen of gen locks it, it was so annoying just seeing over and over about these arguments these repetitive arguments over void scope just sticking to gen locks now with this at least she will have a bit more of a chance to have some chase pressure while being able to gen lock but even with all these buffs it's she's still easy to win against it's pretty simple i went against zinni zinni's game as void scope not even you, you don't you don't feel it you don't feel the changes at all i'm like i'm telling you you don't, you don't feel these changes so people who are complaining and getting scared over void scope being overpowered like they, they're scared of the numbers 
people are scared of the numbers. They look at the numbers and they don't play the game. They don't play the game at all. You know the first thing we saw when I saw when I saw these? Yo, W buffs. Let's go test this out. And that's what we did. Tested out the buffs. And voice scope is roughly the same. At least she is a bit more viable when it comes to actually playing voice scope. You could play her now. Does that mean she's overpowered? No. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. So people who are complaining that Void Skulk is like Void Skulk is crazy. Oh my god, Void Skulk is Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Alright? Cause obviously you don't play Void Skulk. Obviously, you don't play against Void Skulk. You look at these numbers and get it you get scared without even getting into the game. W fucking W buff, Brenda. W buff. Let's continue. That's enough of Void Skulk. The possessed. I really don't care about possessed, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about this much. It's just a bit of a tweaking, a bit of buffs. Okay. Sadaya so nerf. It should have been reverted. Honestly, it should have been reverted. They said rest in peace, Queen Strong for one patch before they hated too hard. Nah. Who asked for this? Who asked for a 10 second block? This should have been reverted back to five seconds. All right. It doesn't really change much. Sadaya so is still fucking crazy. Crazy to chase. Eight eight stats for repair with an eight second block insane plus uh plus six uh was it six uh revive speed and a little bit of a bonus speed boost when blocking yeah get the fuck out of here revert back please if if, if i could take if there's anything to take from this video please revert back sedaya for five seconds please just, just do that iris composure went up from four to nine people were complaining about this heavy Saying that, oh my god, they give Iris another buff. First of all, they nerfed her speed. She's a 6 6 survivor who gets tunneled. And now you gave her 9 composure. It's perfectly fine. Nobody even goes for stealth plays anyway, so why are you complaining? Yes, Iris now has a utility that can help for her to survive longer. Alright. What's the problem? You just, just turn on your head. You. Hello. These help. Use them. Riley got a 1.5 .5 speed uh, shield duration and bonus, which is perfectly fine. Riley doesn't do much, honestly. Riley gets a hit once, and that's it. So, uh, yeah. It's, Iman is still better. Evelyn, stat tweaks. We all knew this was going to happen. It, w it was inevitable once we saw the stat when we saw the stat spread immediately we knew that she was gonna get nerfed when it comes to the stats unfortunately that's what happened so uh yeah now uh emery is forever going to be the number one stat spread holder with a total combined stat spread of 46. now i do realize that brenda herself said that arlo had the highest stat spread no we went over this. It's Emery. That four speed. Yeah, the four speed. He has higher stats than Arlo with a 46. Uh, another change is was Elijah uh, now is able to gain 125 XP for a stun. This in the beginning was fucking stupid. But I got into a game and the XP is roughly... It's It, it increases your XP when it comes to playing Kyle. He gets way more XP, which... It's perfectly fine. I thought it would be an XP farm, but as of right now, it doesn't seem to be much an XP farm. Kyle, I mean, Elijah, God, I keep saying Elijah, I mean, Kyle, my bad. Elijah is still the number one support character, very good, and now he gets more XP, which I'm all for. You know, I like playing Elijah, so it helps me level him up faster. And also, Callum is now able to pick a new teammate if his leaves the game at any point, as opposed to only be able to, uh, able to... Uh, yeah, blah, blah. If your opponent, if you are Callum and your teammate leaves, you just pick a new one. Cool. Showstopper change. Showstopper's cooldown will now scale with his stacks, which is fine. Uh, Showstopper is now less oppressive, but it's still a stupid fucking character. Still, you know, takes roughly no skill. With at least with the uh, cooldowns and everything, it'll take a minus, a minuscule amount of skill more to play. 
but she's still very oppressive when it comes to her stacks. You could literally play a showstopper round and win without using mirror at whatsoever. It is it's, showstopper is still crazy. And um, I think that's it. No, there's a couple more things I want to talk about. And that is when it comes to uh, the feedbacks and suggestions page. Uh, recently, Brenda was in there and she was talking a lot. She was, you know, she was in, indulging a bunch of fucking, she's taking in a bunch of shit. And people were complaining, 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 especially about Void Scope. And she says, you guys are blowing the Void Scope buff out of the water for no reason. It's kind of funny, it, which it is. She got a 0.25 change in 2 chase stats and a boost to her infected vault speed. And some of you are acting like she's going to be a 9 speed chase demon now. Which Brenda is completely correct. Completely fucking correct. Voice Coke is still roughly the same. So people who are complaining just hasn't played the game. And she also said, unfortunately, we're not allowed to make the changes we think are best at the game or else people will complain with a reason and pretend we don't listen to the community. Uh, so this was a big thing. Uh, no words made a video about it, which no words was completely correct, except for voice coke. All right, I completely agree with uh, no words this video 100%. If you want to go watch it, just search, look it up. He made it at the point of uh, recording this like a couple hours ago. I'm pretty sure you already saw it, so I'm not even gonna really explain much. But I agree with what he said, except for the voice coke thing. Now we are going to continue to what she said about the content creators apparently i think people were sharing my video when it comes like sharing my video around blah 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 which uh what i saw was uh it came with good uh reception the video did good which i appreciate it thank you guys for the support uh i was a bit iffy after i uh went talking to my other friends about the video like I was a bit iffy about uh, posting it, you know, but it seems that it doesn't really, really do much when it comes to being negative. It came out to uh, praise and some, you know, it, it was, it was very well taken and which I appreciate it. But also, so Brenda uh, replied about the content creators. So Brenda herself, well, I'm going to just read what she says. I quote, content creators are not special. They are players just like everyone else. Their voices do not matter more just because they have an audience. No, this, this I agree with 100%. Uh, j yeah, we are just, we are players just like everyone else. So just because some, like a content creator can be dog shit at the game and have an audience. It, that is perfectly plausible. It, it happens. It can happen. So her saying that their voices do not matter just because they have an audience is completely valid just because you have an audience doesn't mean your words should be freaking pertain like the second coming of christ but that's when she clarifies not specifically anyone about not specifically about anyone like ancient is good at the game so his opinion matters and is important obviously but just being a content creator doesn't mean you suddenly know everything now i completely understand some people thought that this was like her like you know like giving in to me or like you know like like dick sucking me no it is not what she said was completely valid the reason why she said this was due to the fact that just because i'm a content creator doesn't make my opinion valid or important like anyone else's the reason why my opinion is way more valid is because I am good at the game. The people who are good at the game have higher priority when it comes to sharing feedback or giving suggestions. Not just because I have an audience. If I was dog shit at the game and I was over here complaining blah de blah de blah, my words should not be even remotely close to being just acknowledged. All right. The fact that I'm good at the game, the fact that I'm currently the best in the game and have a lot of knowledge more than their average player makes my opinion more valuable when it comes to sharing feedback or giving suggestions not because i have a not because i'm a content creator for the game so she said whatever she, what she said right here was completely valid and it makes sense so and she didn't even watch the video so like i um i can understand where she got confused when it comes to like me talking about it 
I did say that it was valid, all good. My video pretending to content creators weren't about listening to us just because we have an audience, so I could get why it was confusing. Yeah, I uh, but, but, yeah, I understand. I understand. It, you didn't watch the video. You said I. You already hope I. Tr you already know I trust your opinion and such. Cause I know you're a good player. I'm not watching a 30 video event video. Sorry, like it's perfectly fine. You don't have to watch my videos. All right. I already have. I already know my stance. Like what? I'm. I'm talking like I'm talking to Brenda right now. But like, it, I'm pretty sure she's not watching it. Not this video. But I. I already know my stance with Brenda. All right. I am a. So, Brenda is the developer, and I am just a high. Like, I'm just a really good player that has a lot of knowledge about the game that she makes so uh no uh when it comes to oh she, i didn't even respond but uh, she said i hope you didn't take it badly though i didn't mean like content creators are stupid or know nothing but i just meant everyone deserves to be heard by like a butterfly this is completely perfectly fine everyone deserves to have feedback to, you know everyone you know has the right to give feedback blah de, blah de, blah should everyone's feedback be listened to no I won't agree that everyone deserves to have their feedback implemented in the game. That's why I said, if you suck at the game, shut up. Because you're doing more harm to the game than good. You could you could give your fucking takes, but expect your takes to be taken as they are, either good or bad. So whatever Brenda said about the consecrators is perfectly bad in every way, and. I don't, she's probably not watching it, but if anyone like forwards this video to her, I took no shade whatsoever. I even DM'd her to say W void buffs, even though I said it here as well. W void buffs. But, anyways, I think that's it. Uh, hold on, let's. Oh, she also said, but of course, I appreciate all your concerns, and I understand it can be frustrating when the vocal people get things changed, but sometimes I want to come into the channel and see literally anything else, and the problem is everyone latches to one topic and talks about it forever until the next thing comes up. Uh, if anything has changed, it will probably be the vault speed due bonus due to her chase stats. Literally, you want to change a little bit. Also, forgot to mention that Idol shouldn't play his special vault animation before because I think the flip was actually bugging things out, allowing him to vault uh, vault hit easier since it was motion. Sorry, I guess later everyone back before body blah, blah blah. It was basically vault. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, right now, Idol has a little fucking... He doesn't have to flip anymore, but he probably will get... He said he was going to get changed back. Uh, but honestly... Oh, one more thing. When Loading said... Loading said uh, this game is literally killer-sided, as opposed to being hard for survivors to win, and it's supposed to be easy for killers to win, so the buff makes sense. This is... I agree. This is a asymmetrical horror game when there's eight survivors... And one killer. The killer is supposed to be overpowered because there's eight of you motherfuckers. There's eight of you motherfuckers. Eight. So like, complaining that a killer is overpowered. Now nah, there's there's a there's a limit. There's a limit. Like fucking showstopper when she was like at her peak. Now that's fucking busted. That is busted. But there's eight of you motherfuckers. Eight minds. I get one. one. Killer, it's the game is supposed to be killer sided. The game is supposed to be killer sided. So, uh, honestly, I think that's all I need to, uh, that's all I need to really say. Also, Demon just put, I don't think people are understand that 25% both. I don't think people understand that it's a 25% boost on infected vaults not vaults in general you could treat the infected vaults just like a showstopper mirror and there won't be a difference people are really overreacting over the dumb shit on oh, god i am uploading this because it is completely true people are overreacting over people are just fucking tweaking in general over the void scope buffs the void scope needed this w voice scope buffs and i will post a video this will come out before or after this video gets posted anyways if you guys did enjoy this video covering all the updates Please leave a like, subscribe, and it really supports the channel. And I will talk to you about the next updates whenever they come out. So take care, everybody.